Hello everyone, Ken here, back with another video where I review your projects, resumes, and portfolios. Special thanks to Pranav this week for submitting his website, his GitHub, and also his resume for me to review. I think that people are going to get, um, anyone watching is going to get something really special out of this because he has an incredibly beautiful portfolio website, and there are just a few tweaks that I think he can make that would really, really stand out even further for potential employers. If you're interested in having your personal portfolio, resume, or projects reviewed, please comment and let me know in the comment section below. Also, please shoot me an email at kenji.ds at gmail.com. All right, so without further ado, let's jump into Pranav's uh, GitHub profile here. So as you can see, this is a little different from pretty much all of the, the profiles that I've had before. I think Pranav comes from a software engineering background. So he has a lot more content on GitHub than I think anyone who I've reviewed yet. And to me, this is a really, really good thing. You know, seeing someone has 50 different repositories means that they're interested in tinkering, they're interested in exploring, they're interested in going through uh, and building a lot of stuff. If I'm a hiring manager, I want people that like to get their hands dirty and they like to build stuff. So having a lot of repos to me is a good thing. Uh, we can go through, I'm not going to go through uh, in depth really any of these, but uh, it, it seems like there's a, quite a few that are just tinkering. They're either, you know, he's forked quite a few things. Um, and that's totally fine. I think that seeing a GitHub like this is, is a good thing in terms of volume, but it can be uh, easy to get lost looking for something that is relevant to data science and important. So Pranav does a really cool thing here is he calls out all of his important projects in his portfolio website. Before I show you guys that, I'm gonna speak on kind of his profile here. Good picture, professional looking, gives some personality. I like budding data scientist who lately doesn't go for walks around the, around the park, but he loops. So kind of a little coding reference joke. I also think budding data scientist, I, I like the sound of that more than aspiring data scientist or something like that. Budding means to me that he's, he already thinks of himself as a data scientist and he knows he has room to grow and to improve. So um, he can also, you know, we can go to his website here, which he's linked, which is perfectly fine. So again, the aesthetics of this website are, are absolutely incredible. Um, this is very, very professionally done. The, the first thing that I see related to this though is on the, on the first page, I would perhaps like to see almost uh, everything here. So the experience, the projects, just make it keep running and going down because when a recruiter or when a manager is looking at this, we're always competing for their time. So we wanna make sure that everything is as easy for them from like a user experience perspective so they don't have to go through and do many clicks. So if we could scroll down and you know, first we would see his projects, his experience, and then we can go down and see his education, and then we could keep going down further and see his skills and his resume, all in one page. I think that that's pretty powerful. I don't have a problem that he has these all as individual tabs, but again, if we're competing for the recruiter or the manager's time, it does make a little more sense to have it all in one place. So let's look at his, his experience. Again, this is a lot of the same things that he has on his resume, but a website is a great way or a great place where you can actually go more into depth than your resume. So I really like that he includes this stuff here as well. Um, and he can include the pictures and some, like, some of the GIF imagery that you can't actually do on a resume. I think that that is absolutely awesome. And I'd love to see more people showcase their experience like this. Obviously, you should make sure you get the companies okay before you share any of this information. I assume that this is all, uh, all fine from, from that perspective. Next, we go to the projects. Again, data science is, you know, it's, it's very important to be visual, very important to kind of be able to, to show as much as it is to tell. And he does a great job doing that with his projects here. Uh, one thing that is mostly semantic, but I, I'm used to clicking bold font and having it take me somewhere. In this case, you have to click on the pictures, which I think is fine. Um, I would like it to go to link specifically to this project rather than just the general page though. 
We'll go into some of the projects a little bit later. I'm probably not going to go too in depth into the projects, but um, like GANs, very popular right now, very interesting technology, and that's kind of one of those uh, more cutting end, cutting edge projects that you want to have at least one of those. So anything related to neural nets, I look like text analysis, NLP. I also any anything related to computer vision. I, I think you should have at least one project in that kind of realm to show that you're comfortable with some of these more advanced technologies. So we have a data science quiz recommender. It says we should check it out. So let's see. I don't see like a quick way to actually link to that. So maybe I would make that just a little bit more intuitive as well. I like these projects that he made, the Slack bot. I think he integrates a lot of really cool software engineering components. And he can, show, he can show that that differentiates him from a more traditional data scientist. I think that if you either have a really strong math background or a very strong programming background, you should highlight that as much as possible. But you should also show that you can do, um, you know, you can program well or you can uh, understand the math concepts at a high level uh, in, in your work as well. So we go through his education. I think education is important, but I am a huge believer that you know projects and work experience trump education. So I like that he actually has that third. Um, I think the skills portion is very cool. He has a lot of skills. Honestly, that's something I like to see as soon as possible because one of the first things recruiters are going to look at are your skills, and if your skills don't match up to the position, they'll just throw you um, into the discard pile, basically. So if he could make this even more accessible, maybe even on the home screen. So we see on his home screen here, um, you know, there are these, you know, that he's an extractor, a transformer, and a loader. Maybe just under there, under each of those uh, headers, he could talk about what technical skills are attached to each of those things. I think that would really make this even, even more appealing for me. Again, the, the aesthetic of this website is probably one of the best portfolios I've seen. There are just some very small tweaks that I think could make this more user friendly to a recruiter or to a, a data science manager for the hiring process. So let's kind of jump to his, um, his resume. I use a different resume viewer because I didn't want to give away his like personal phone number and stuff like that. So I just removed it from the top here. Um, in general, I don't, in, um, yeah. So education, he has that up top. Um, and he has all of the technical skills at the bottom. Again, I, I can't speak, I believe he's in Singapore. I can't speak for uh, what the recruiting is like there or what recruiters like to see there, but I always want to see the technical skills up top, even before education. Um, if I was him, I would actually also put the experience above education. You know, I, I think his education is really good and that is one of the more recent things that he's done, but when I'm going through a resume, the first thing I look at, okay, do they have the skills? What experiences do they have? And then finally, where did they go to school? The, the school portion is less important to me as a recruiter if I know that they can do the work and they have the skills. So um, I really like the descriptive, the way he, that he describes uh, his work here. Um, so full stack experience in machine learning, built in end to end production grade image processing solution to automate start me smart measurement in manufacturing line, saving up to three minutes per image set and 20 man hours per week. That is almost a perfect um, description there. I don't actually think he needs this full stack experience in machine learning. I think that that could be a separate bullet. Um, that is again, almost the exact formula, formula that, you wanna, that you wanna follow. So what did you build, um, you know, how, what value did it create in, and you quantify it. So, um, you know, you can't do that for everything, but he does that in two bullets. Uh, that's, that's pretty good right there. Um, he does have good software engineering experience. And I think that that will actually look really well on his, um, you know, with recruiters in general, especially if he's looking for the more technical side. Um, so he has an academics projects section. 
I don't know if I would call it academic projects. I'd maybe call it personal projects or passion projects or just projects. Uh, academic projects implies that you're like almost required to do them by your school. I think that if you're coming out and saying that like I did these because I'm genuinely interested in them, um, that shows and speaks to your creativity as a data scientist. That speaks to how invested you are in the field that you're willing to do these things in your free time. Um, I, I think that um, what I don't see on here is a link to his uh, LinkedIn or to his profile, uh, I mean to his resume website. And I would link each of these projects um, r you know, right, right after here to a more detailed visual description of them. So if someone's interested, they could click on it and go see exactly what you did. So that, that would be one way that I think you could, you could spice this up. Um, and you could get more out of this than just having the, the words on the page. You'd be able to link and, and share your, your broader work, your beautiful resume website as well. Um, and, and again, that's something I would put right up top, a link to your resume, your GitHub, your LinkedIn. I might have removed those and they were they could have been up there, but I don't recall seeing them. So Pranav, if, if I uh, mistakenly dinged you there, let me know. Um, Let's kind of go in to his, so, so quickly to summarize, I think the descriptions are really, really strong. I would just move things around, putting the technical skills, then the experience, then the education, and then the projects, um, and um, make sure to include all the links to the relevant things. You know, people are, you know, by habit, used to clicking on links, and if I see a GitHub or I see a link to a website, I almost always check it out. So let's just quickly go to his GitHub here. Let's go to one of these projects. Um, so DS Quiz Recommender is a project built to showcase understanding of GraphDB and how to maintain users' data and perform. So I think highlighting uh, the, the data element of this, I mean, it's not necessarily a data science project aside from the nature of it, but um, data aggregation, data understanding, using some of these database tools is could be really important. It could be a feather in your cap that a lot of other people applying for data scientist positions don't have. Um, I would like to see and interact with this. If I missed where that's located, please let me know as well. Let's look at this generative adversarial uh, neural networks. Um, Oh, I see. So I would definitely highlight that you used Google, uh, like a, a cloud instance for this. I think that that's something that I, I believe data science is moving more and more towards cloud compute anyway. And showing that you can leverage these tools is, is very powerful. So um, definitely a pretty good readme here. Um, maybe I'd like to see just a little bit more about the, the results. You know, he had that beautiful picture on his website. I would also like to see some of that in the README as well. So overall, really, really strong here. I, I don't think Pranav will have an, any trouble finding a position, assuming the interview process goes well for him. But just those couple tweaks, moving things around on the resume, making the user experience for the interviewer or the recruiter a little bit easier can help you know, perhaps get him into more interviews um, in general. So again, thank you so much, Pranav. Really, really impressive GitHub and website presence. I'd actually love to know how you built it, what you used there. So uh, I'm sure I'll talk with you more about that. As usual, I hope that this helped everyone else, you know, see a good case study of what a really, really strong portfolio looks like. And it also helps you think about how you design your resume, how you improve the user experience for recruiters or data science managers, because that is, again, really, really the main point, is we wanna make our work as interesting as possible, and we wanna make it as easy as possible for them to consume it. So thank you so much for watching, and good luck on your data science journey.